in Nairobi County on a Monday morning, the 23rd of September, robbing the school young innocent lives after semi-permanent glass they were in caved in on them, injuring 60 others. Okay. The Cabinet Secretary for Education, Professor George Magoha, has been moving from county to county, closing down schools that have not met the standards set out in school safety policies. Now, the Kenya Union of Post Primary Education Teachers, Kupet, has come out to denounce the move, terming it as a shallow move. Addressing the media, Kupet Secretary General Akelo Misori has criticized the move as mere public relation mimic that should stop forthwith. Issues related to the manner in which the Cabinet Secretary has moved and closed down schools in a more reactive sonary manner to depict and to indict his own office for all the mess which has occasioned all this. There are 70 public primary schools. Does it mean the ones he has not closed and properly registered? These are issues that we want you as people of the media to escalate so that we don't stop and then begin all of a sudden again when another school will fall. Missouri claimed the ministry's quality assurance department is in a deplorable state, rendering standards redundant, stating that Magoha must first clean his office and punish quality assurance officers who are loud and safe schools to operate. What Cooper thinks is a year yawning gap in the ministry and what we think should take place in the circumstance that we are running a clean economy. <clears throat> Ministry of Education, who has to deal with these corrupt ministry officials. However, Missouri accused the government of miserably failing in providing education services, hence the explosion of substandard schools in slums, despite the government's policy of a 100% transition to secondary school, appending the guidelines on student number per classroom. The government policy on 100% transition to secondary schools has appended the guidelines on the student numbers per class. The government has failed miserably in providing education services, hence the proliferation of standard schools in slums. In the Agorepti, where the Precious Talents Academy is located, an entire ward or with more than 100,000 residents has no single public school. That is the most unfortunate thing, that it has no single public school. The Nairobi, Nairobi, whose population has more than doubled in the last 30 years, the government has not established any single school during the period. Kupert insists assuring school safety for learners and teachers requires a coordinated approach by all relevant agencies, including the Ministry of Education, the Public Works Department, the Ministry of Lands and the county governments. Jamaki Boy, KUTV.